Welcome to day three of the 12 stages of healing and extraordinary impact. 12 stages, 12 days. Oh my God, am I stuck? I'm the stuckest person in the world. <sighs> Ever felt that way? See, after you complete stage two, and you go, oh my God, I've done this again. You go, it's the same pattern. Get this, the difference. In stage one, there was suffering. There's no you there. There was just, and not even a circumstance, just utter disconnection and separateness. In a very, very dark place because not enough energy even to run the mind effectively. In stage two, the mind hijacks the emotion. And now you believe life equals your circumstance. You want to fix your circumstance. You have more energy. So at least you can lose more of your body and nervous system. As you get stage three, you realize, I can't believe I did the same thing again. Guess what? There's a you there that's stuck. Before there was no you. Before that, it was just circumstance. It was just suffering. Now there's more energy as we get to stage three that we guess we start having our conditioned mind function. The mind is conditioned. It tells us how we're supposed to be or who we're supposed to be. And that's great because at this stage, we recognize I did it again. I can't believe it. Ooh, I was hooked. So you go through the same pattern and you find this is an old pattern repeating. There's no such thing as an old pattern repeating. There's just what you're practicing now. And you practice because how much energy you have available. And there's just enough energy to get out of polarity, but not enough energy to make the change. Red light means what? Right. Stop. Green light, light means what? Go. Yellow light? No, you overachievers. It does not mean go faster. Yellow light means... It's not time, if you're not in the intersection yet, don't go there, it's not the time. Wait and observe first. In stage three, we feel the frustration, maybe anger, but you're not angry at someone else. You're just angry that somehow I'm doing this again and you realize it's blocking you from being more authentic in your natural state. This exercise involves two parts. One, acknowledging you're stuck, here and in the field. Although we could do the exercise in the body, I'm gonna help do it in the field because right now so much of humanity is stuck. We're stuck between worlds, we're stuck. And you can actually find out where your body is in connection to that. You may be stuck in a, in a family of this, but alcoholics. You may be stuck in a pattern of abuse. You may be st stuck in a pattern of doubt. You may be stuck in a pattern of whatever it is of, of repeating illness, you know? I've been sober for 13 years. Well, you're still an alcoholic in many ways if you're still counting. I don't want to minimize it. But the idea is it's still a pattern in the field. Your identity is hooked into that. Your role is hooked into that. That's in the field. So this, I'm going to take the SRI and move it to what we call FE Integrate. We're integrating this with your energy body or field. Two parts. One, recognizing the experience of stuck and what that's like. And not trying to do something faster, but realize this is stuck. The second part, bringing the innocent child with you. What did you say? I said bringing the innocent child with you. But my child is innocent. The child that you're remembering is not. But the essence of that sacred part of purity of essence, it's still there. And you're going to actually apologize to that child. What do you mean? I'm sorry I made you grow up so fast. I'm sorry I haven't let you play. What would a kid, seven-year-old, want to know? That's it. Because to get to reclaim your power, you must bring the playful child with you. You must bring it. When growing up and being conditioned, we learn this emo emotion is not okay. A good boy does this. A bad boy does this. A good girl does this. This is what a son does. A father does. We learn all these things. We learn, use your words. How many times have you been told, have you said, to a child, use your words. I can promise you they're going to be using more words than you want to hear. When the emotions first develop, it happens in more in the stage two, when they're learning to experience those emotions that time, it's just an emotion. Emotions only last for minutes. That's it. 
Beyond that has become the thought. There's no energy to liberate in thought. Any thoughts have no energy. They bind it to keep you in a certain way of not dropping lower into suffering. So now you blame this person or that person just because of this. When you experience the energy itself in that part of your body or in the space, the field, suddenly the energy reveals itself and the thoughts change. Every thought, every emotion only lists a certain amount of energy. Every symptom, every disease, everything exists a certain level of energy. Drop the energy lower, we downsize our body and our life. Bring it higher, we have more bandwidth, we make bigger impact on others. Our self create more synergy. So this third part is important, this third stage. It's the bridge between life happening to you and you making sure life is happening the way you'd like to see it happen. Between life pushing you around and just focusing on fixing circumstances and saying, it's me here and I choose. The only thing you really choose here now is to accept that you have been repeating a pattern because there's not enough energy. Experiencing energy like where it is, no stories about it. Experience being stuck and do nothing about it. Imagine you're on a roller coaster. It's a two and a half minute ride. It's great, it's great. But it's now three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes. You know it's two and a half. What happens? Oh my God, I'm stuck. What happens in life? When it gets longer, the mind gets in and starts making up stories. We must experience stuck as a peaceful waiting. It's liberating when we admit that we're stuck and do nothing about it because something has to change in our emotional state. Something has to change in our field. And what must change is we must be with that childlike energy and apologize for not playing more with that energy. Suddenly, everything liberates. So you tell the child, Tell me, give me your words, use your words. Once you start doing that, the child doesn't develop the repertoire for emotions because everything you do, everything you buy, everything you want in life, everything you achieve is to finally get to a certain emotion. So you can have it in a moment, save the years, and then what you do will be different. So what I'm suggesting here is so many of us have had our mental realm to read, write, and think is representation of reality through words cut short the longer natural emotional development that would happen. And this is where we get to catch up. So take your hands like this. Go around your body, in front of your body here at different levels. And you're going to go like this and like that. Find out where you feel your body twisting. Over here, over here. For me, it's over here. For you, it might be here. It's a feeling you feel the body just wants to squirm away from it. It's a gross feeling right here. It's gross and funny at the same time. I'm going right here. I'm twisting. I feel, oh, here. And I make that sound. I exaggerate it. Here, what you could do is you just say to the stuff, is that all you got? Is that all you got? Right here. Oh, make it stuck sound. And feel. And don't worry if it make it go away. Breathe in your nose, feel the stuff hold it, let out the breath. Let the breath out your mouth. Again, I don't want to do it again. Do it again. And that might be associated with a role as a husband or mother or father. Maybe the way you heal, maybe your disease, there's something in that field affecting it. And whomever you think about at that time, they're affected also. They feel stuck in business or life for their health. So go like right here, like, let's stop. I go, wow, it's different here. I'm stuck. I am so stuck. Ready? I am so stuck. Let that echo and echo and echo and echo. Go back again. Breathe in. You know, it's about to exaggerate again. Hold your body still because you want to twist and exaggerate it. And it may be out there here. Find where it is. That's always associated with part of you that you cannot excel to be with. Part you ignored and part that life keeps trying to bust the energy out. The larger system is always going to try to liberate energy information. And you could choose to do it first. 
before you have to get beat up in the outer world. So go like this here now. Get this done. Next one, stand proud and say, I am the stuckest person in the world. I am the most stuck person in the world. I celebrate my stuckedness. And be there. Now go back again. If you're touching the body, it's here. It's the field is out here. And you go like that. Get this here. And now. I experienced that child from now, not from the past. From now, I'm experiencing this child of mine. Five, six, seven, eight, maybe 10 years old, before teenager. I go like this. I go like this. I go, hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm you. What do you mean I'm you? You're talking to a little child. I'm you, but you're so old. Well, you play your cards right, and you'll be old and handsome and beautiful like me. And you make it funny. Well, what do you want? Well, I want to apologize to you and get that stuck feeling, hold it. In the nose, out the mouth. I want to apologize to you. Do it again. What for? I'm sorry to make you play longer. I'm sorry to allow you just to enjoy yourself. I'm sorry to win celebrate. And the little kid says, okay, can I go? Okay, you can go. In the nose, out the mouth. And feel the liberation and feel something else is happening. The you that you have is building up energy and it's moving to another level. Finally, you feel a power that's surging through you. 